We are going to create some tabs at the footer here with few group module. Let's go to the module page, view group, and bootstrap view group. So there are all together two modules you need to install. Bootstrap view group will render the view group with bootstrap markup. So please install the module and we'll enable them together afterwards. So let's enable the modules if you have installed. So let's look for the view group, maybe a tech group. It's great. So we turn on bootstrap view group as well as view group and save the configuration. Let's go to structure, content types, article, and manage display. Let's scroll down. There's a new group we can add here. Now we'll first create a tabs. Group tabs. For this one, we select bootstrap net, either tabs or views. Let's save it. Scroll down. Again, full story. This is for the body view. For this format, we will select bootstrap nav item. So we need a parent, we need item. Alright, so let's save it. Let's create photo gallery. It's the same, save. And last one, video. Bootstrap nav item. So we have three items. I'll scroll down. This time we're going to drag these three items under tabs. Right? And for these tabs, let's click on the gear here. Yes, we we'll select a tabs. All these are fine. Let's update. Scroll up. Let's drag the whole tabs to the footer region and body you place it here photos and YouTube we don't need the label this one as well scroll down and save so let's check it out scroll down that's great so we have three tabs here full story photo gallery and video now you will notice if you refresh the page when you first load the page the column tab is actually not active this is a known issue at this time of recording now if you go to bootstrap view group go to issue queue here advanced search there's one issue called column tab isn't active for first time so you can read through but there's a quick fix here, simply adding a class to the extra CSS classes, right? So make sure you add a trading space after active. Now we'll do this, a quick fix, back to our site here. Let's go to manage display. Scroll down. Okay. For full story here, at the back here, we'll add one more class, space active now one more space at the back this is important all right so that should be a, a space at the back of active now click update scroll down and save in this case we don't need to patch perhaps by this time when you watch this video is already fixed in the latest release of this module now scroll down that's great the current tab is active now let's proceed 